Once upon a time, there was a woman who had no children, and this made her very sad. So she spoke to the Sunball one day and said, Dear Sunball, send me a little girl, and when she is twelve years old, you may take her back. Soon after this, the Sunball sent her a little girl, whom the woman called Latiko. She watched over her with great care until she was twelve years of age. One day, soon after her twelfth birthday, Latiko was out gathering herbs for her mother, and the sunball came to her and said, Latiko, when you go home, tell your mother she must remember her promise to me. Then Latiko went home and said to her mother, While I was gathering herbs, a fine tall gentleman came, and he charged me to tell you that you must remember your promise. When the woman heard this, she was very afraid, and immediately she shut all the doors and windows of the house, stopped up all the holes in the walls, and put Latiko safely hidden away that the sunball could not come and take her. But she forgot to close up the keyhole, and the sunball sent a ray into the house which took hold of the little girl and carried her away. One day, the sunball sent Latiko to gather some straw. As the little girl was gathering the straw, she sat down on the piles and she wept, and she said, As sighs this straw under my feet, so sighs my heart after my mother. And this caused her to be very late in returning, and when she returned, the sunball asked, Latiko, why were you so long? She said, My slippers are too big. I could not go any faster. The sunball made the slippers smaller. Another time he sent her to fetch water, and when she came to the spring she sat down and wept, and she said, As flows the water, so flows my heart in longing for my mother. Then she again remained away so long that when she returned, the sunball said, Latiko, why have you been gone so long? And she answered, My petticoat was too long. It hinders me when I walk. Then the sunball cut her petticoat to make it shorter. Another time the sunball sent her to fetch some sandals for him. And as the girl carried them in her hand, she began to weep and said, As creaks the leather, so creaks my heart after my mother. When she got home, the sunball asked again, Latiko, why do you come home so late? My hood is too wide, and it falls over my eyes, and I cannot see where I am going. So he made the hood smaller. At last, however, he became aware of how sad Latiko was. He sent her again to bring some straw, and he slipped in silently behind her, and he heard how she cried for her mother. Then he went home. He called two foxes to him and said, Will you take Latiko home? Yes, why not? What will you eat and drink if you become hungry and thirsty on the way? We will eat her flesh and drink her blood. When the sunball heard that, he said, You are not suited for this job. He sent them away. Then he called two rabbits to them, and he said, Will you take Latiko home to her mother? Yes, why not? What will you eat and drink if you become hungry and thirsty on the way? We will eat grass and drink from streams. Then take her home. Then the rabbit set out, taking Latiko with them, and it was a long way home, so they became hungry along the way. Then they said to the little girl, Climb this tree to stay safe. Remain there while we eat. So Latiko climbed the tree, and the rabbits went off to graze. It was not very long before Lamia came under the tree and called out, Latiko, Latiko, come down. See what beautiful shoes I have. Oh, my shoes are much finer than yours. Come down, I am in a hurry, for my house needs swept. Go home and sweep it yourself, and then come back when you are ready. Then the Lamia went away. And she swept her house, and when she was ready, she came back, and she called out, Latiko, Latiko, come down. Come and see what a beautiful apron I have. Oh, my apron is much nicer than yours. 
If you will not come down, I will cut this tree down and I will eat you. Well, go ahead and then eat me. Then the Lamia hewed with all her strength at the tree, but she could not cut it down. And when she saw that, she called out, Latiko, Latiko, come down, for I must feed my children. Go home and feed them then. Come back when you are ready. When the Lamia had gone away, Latiko called out, Little rabbits, little rabbits. Then one rabbit said to the other, Listen, Latiko is calling, and they both ran back as fast as they could go. Then Latiko came down from the tree, and they went on their way. The Lamia ran as fast as she could to catch up, and when she came to a field where people were working, she asked them, Has anyone passed this way? They answered, We are planting beans. I did not ask that. I asked if anyone passed this way. But the people only answered louder, Are you deaf? It is beans, beans, beans that we are planting. When Latiko had nearly reached home, the dog recognized her and called out, Bow wow, here comes Latiko. And the mother said, Hush, thou beast of ill omen, thou will make me burst with misery. Next the cat on the roof saw her and called out, Meow, here comes Latiko. And the mother said, Silence, thou beast of ill omen, will thou make me burst with misery? Then the rooster saw her and called out, cock a doodle doo here comes Latiko. And the mother said again, Be quiet, thou bird of ill omen, will thou make me burst with my misery? The nearer Latiko and the two rabbits came to the house, the nearer also came the Lamia. And when the rabbit was about to slip in the house, she caught it by its little tail and tore it out. When the rabbit came in, the mother stood up and said to it, Welcome, dear little rabbit. Because you have brought back Latiko, I will silver your tail. And she did so, and lived ever after with her daughter in happiness and content.